There's a reason more people aren't as successful as they could be. And today I'm going to talk to you about that. If you want to know more, hey, click share, click like, and join me on this conversation. When's the wisdom and leadership, baby? Your boy, Ernie Davis, a.k.a. the People's Coach. Mr. Michael Islam, you guys give thanks to him because here's what he taught me. He said, you know what? One of the biggest mistakes that people make is they give up too easy. They quit too early. Yeah, he said they give up too easy. You quit way too early. He said, he said, listen, the universe is like the parent, the ultimate parent. And if you want to get what you're going to get from the universe, you have to be willing to persistently ask and ask and ask and go after what it is that you desire. Now, Mr. Mr. Islam, he, he taught me this. Mr. Michael Islam over here, he taught me this like no other. He said, think of it like this. He said, think of it like this, Ernie, and this is one of the worst things that parents do when they're raising their kids. He said, because kids, you know, kids, they want a whole lot of things in life. They want a lot of things in life. They want everything they put their eyes on some of the kids, right? They want everything. And he says, every time they see something they want, they ask for it. I looked at him. I said, you know what, <laughs> Mr. Michael, you're right about that. Every time the kids see something that they want, they ask for it. They ask for it. They ask for it. And, and, and then he, he said, you know, what parents do wrong is he says, occasionally, you have to find the ability. You have to find the wherewithal to give your kids what it is they want. He says, you have to get them in the habit of asking for what it is that they want and working for what it is that they want. And he says, you can't just give it to them on the first try. He says, that's the same thing the universe does. The universe doesn't just give it to you on the first try. He says, you have to ask the first time. You're not going to get it. But if, if you're a good parent, the good parent teaches that kid, listen, just because you didn't get it the first time, you don't stop asking. You start working. You develop a plan to get what it is that you desire. I looked at him. <laughs> I said, Mr. Islam, you're right. You're exactly right. He said, the first time you don't get it, you got to keep asking. You got to keep asking and asking, and you got to develop a plan, and you got to work for what it is that you desire. And then he said, listen, on the second time, you still may not get what it is that you want. And he says, what that means is whatever technique, whatever tactics or procedures that you were using to try and get what it is that you desired, it wasn't good enough. So you have to improve the technique. You have to improve your technique and you have to go back to work again to try and get what it is that you desire. And Mr. Islam said, he said, you know, it could go on and on and on like that. And you may feel like you're never going to get what it is that you desire. And then he said, here's what I want you to know. If you give up or if you quit, you will never get what it is that you desire. I looked at him, I said, what? He said, yeah. If you give up, if you quit, you will never get what it is that you desire. And that's the same thing that most people are doing in life. They give up and they quit way too early and way too easily. He said what they should be doing is they should be going back to the, their workshop. He said they should go back to the workshop of their mind, their mental imagination, and they should start imagining new ways, new products, new services, new techniques to help them get what it is that they desire. And they should pull that out of their, out of their mental workshop, out of their imagination, put it into action, put action behind it. He says there's a universal law of action that says whatever it is that you want, you have to work for it. He says you have to be willing to give all that you got, your time, your energy, your motivation. You have to be willing to give everything that you have in order to get what it is that you want. And he says you have to be willing to evaluate the outcomes that you're receiving. And he says if you're not getting what it is that you desire, you have to look at yourself. And you have to ask yourself, why am I not getting what I desire? That's what I had to do. I had to ask myself. I had to go back to self and I had to say, self, why am I not getting what I want fast enough? And he said, it's just like the little kid. He says, when the kid wants something, you say, some kids will ask, 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 ask until they get it. They will ask, 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 ask until they get it, until they get everything they want. And they start to develop the habit that we call persistence. It's amazing. They start to develop the habit of persistent, persistently asking for what it is they want, persistently going after what it is they want, persistently improving their techniques. He said, listen, if the kid doesn't get it the first time they ask for it, he said they'll go away. A few minutes later, they'll come back. This time they're going to try something a little bit different. They either put their head down. <laughs> and he, he reminded me of when I was growing up because I used to do this with my mom all the time. All the time. I learned how to make it work. You know, and he said, they'll go back, 
because you said no, but then they'll come back again. And this time they're going to try something different. My, my favorite technique was I would hold my head down and, and, and fake a tear. <laughs> fake a tear to tug at my mom's heart so that she would get me what I wanted. A whole lot of kids utilize that. A lot of kids utilize it. Some of you parents, you're giving in to your kids too easily. But he explained this to me and said, that's the exact same way the universe want, works. He says, the problem is most people don't know what they want. And once they figure out what it is that they want, they never create a plan. They just like to stay here and they just go on about it. Some of them talk themselves out of it before they even realize that they could really have what it is they want. I looked at him and I said, this makes a lot of sense. But he said, for the small few people who don't give up, for the small people, few, who don't give up and, and allow their failure to become defeat, they continue to ask. They continue to improve the actions that they're taking to get what they desire. They continue to state what they want. And they go after it. They just don't give up. You know, some kids, you can threaten to give your kids a spanking. You can threaten to, to pop them one. Real good time. If they keep you, I, I've heard parents say, you know, if you keep asking, I'm going to give you something. And then the kids come back. They come back with the little the, the crocodile tears and they're crying, right? And the parents will say, you better stop crying or I'm going to give you something to cry about. Now, for most of you, when your parent told you that, you probably say, all right, I got it. We ain't going to get it. I, I give up. Yeah, that was, well, that's what you did. Guess what the other kids did? The ones who got it, they went back again. I know some kids, man, they were so bold that the parents gave them a spanking, gave them something to cry about, sent them on their way, and I'm joking, they came back again and again and again until they got what it is that they desired. I don't know why nobody ever taught us that that's exactly the way that life works. You see, we call that persistence. That kid just kept persistent. He just didn't give up, didn't take no for an answer. And I don't care who it is, where they are at, if you study any successful person anywhere in the world, they didn't get it the first time. They didn't get it the second time. They didn't get it this third time. You know, there's a story that we talk about in Think and Grow Rich. It's about Thomas Edison. He's the guy who, who invented the light bulb. You know, that little, when you push a switch and the light bulb comes on, there's a guy who took, the, took, the, he took ownership and said he invented that thing. There's a whole bunch of controversy about it. I don't care about the controversy. But what I do care about is, according to all of the records, all of the evidence, Thomas A. Edison, he failed on that thing almost 10,000 times. 10,000 times times he failed to produce a light bulb. What that means is he tried to do it 10,000 times. Not once, not twice, not three times, not even four, not even five, not even a hundred, not even a thousand. He tried it 10,000 times. And because of that, I'm talking to you about him right now today. And Everybody's house that I know is full of light bulbs. They're different. They're, they're still the same concept. You push a switch and it comes on. Everybody has them because he didn't give up on time number 9,999. He kept going. That's the secret. That's a huge portion of the secret. You don't give up. You don't stop. You don't quit. You know, if I had more time, I'd tell you about one of the kids in my neighborhood. A little kid, guy by the name of Jermaine, when we were growing up. Man, he was vicious. He was vicious. And nobody ever wanted to, nobody ever wanted to get into physical conduct, contact with him. Nobody ever wanted to go fist to cuffs with him, right? Because they knew even though he was small, he was short, and he couldn't really fight, you knew that he would never give up. You could whip his butt on a Tuesday, he'd be back on Wednesday. You whip him on Wednesday, he'd be back on Thursday. Whip him on Thursday, he'd be back on Friday. Whip him on Friday, he'd come back on Saturday. And before you know it, you're like, listen, man, you win. You get it, man. You, you, you get the crown. You're the baddest dude I know because you persisted. Because you persisted, you get the win. You get the, you get the, you get the wet a crown. All right? You get the wet a crown. Just let us regular folks go. Just be cool. If you're going to win, you've got to persist. You've got to persist. Listen, it's winds of wisdom and winds of wisdom and leadership. I'm in the dojo today. Check this out, man. I love this construction. We're in the dojo. We're about to do a little bit of kickboxing. We're going to have a little bit of fun. You know, we're going to get a little fist of cuff going on. You know, we're going to get back into ninja mode. You know, but hey, what about you? What are you going to do today? Have you taken the time out to figure out what it is that you want? Have you taken the time out to figure out what it is that you desire? Have you written it down? Listen, 
There's a whole lot more to this, but you know, it's Wednesday. I just wanted to share that little piece with you, just a little piece of the pie. I don't know if you caught it last week, but if you didn't catch the last video, go ahead, scroll up, scroll down, get that video from last week, the one we were talking about faith. And then look for that other video we did a few weeks ago, the one on uh, what is it, talking about what it is that you want. Find those videos, all right? Hey, do me a favor. Click like, share this with somebody else, man, if it made any sense to you. You know, if you like what you heard, you know, if you think we're going in the right direction, you know, I would love to help you get there. So go ahead and click like, click share. You know, let's help some people to, to understand this, man. Life really ain't that difficult. It's not that difficult. You know, you can have, be, do, and achieve anything that you want in life. One of the magic keys is persistence. You can't give up. You can't get dissuaded. You can't get down on yourself. You got to keep going. You know, if one plan don't work, you got to admit it. Hey, it's not the world, it's you. You got to revise the plan. You got to come up with a better plan. You got to learn to associate a mastermind with other people to help you get what it is that you desire. Most people don't get what they want because they don't learn how to mastermind, how to coordinate and organize and work with other people to get what it is that they desire. I don't want that for you. I want you to, you have to learn to get what it is that you want by working and trusting other people. You have to believe in yourself. You got to believe in the goodness of other people. And you have to be able to work together with other people to produce the best results possible so that you can live and enjoy the type of life that you desire. Listen to me. I hope you hear that. Listen to me. It's true. 100% facts. 100% facts. The, you were born to win. The universe wants to give you everything you want. It's just like a parent. But you know what? The universe is a better parent than you or I or anybody else you know. Because most of the parents I know nowadays, they're just giving in to their kids. They're giving their kids whatever they want on the first time. And they're wondering why their kids grow up to be spoiled, riding little brats who don't understand the struggle, who don't understand the hustle, who want everything given to them. Guess what? If that sounds like a kid you know, Congratulations, you played a part in it. How the universe is better. The universe ain't going to just give it to you. Not the first time. Maybe not the second time or the third time. Maybe not even the fourth time. You may be like that guy 10,000 times. Will you quit before you get what you want? Will you quit before you go back to the drawing board and develop a new plan? Will you quit before you learn how to work with good people and let good people help you to get what it is that you want in life, to live and enjoy the type of life that you desire? Will you quit? It's Wednesday. Don't quit. Join me again next week. We'll talk again. It's time to get a little bit of, little bit of hand and fist to cuff going on in the do dojo. Enjoy yourself. Until next time, folks.